Hi guys, Killer J here, and today is a little review of Gunstar Heroes. And this game is pretty fun. It was also it was released on a variety of consoles. It was released on the Sega Genesis. And it was also released on the Wii's Virtual Console, which it should be, and it's probably going to be on the Wii U's Virtual Console, which Wii U Virtual Console needs a game like this. I'm telling you. It was released on June 10th on uh, 360 Xbox 360. I'm pretty sure June 11th on uh, PlayStation 3, PlayStation Network, or PlayStation whatever. You get to play as Gunstar, get different characters, Gunstar Red and Gunstar Blue. And and look at this game, man. Fun. And Treasure was the original developer, Sega was the publisher, but good as Sega put this game on the PlayStation. It's an old school game and it's really hard, I'm telling you. This is back then when games were, give you bang for your buck, they made them harder. Nowadays, you play, pay, you play, you play a game. You have to pay for a bunch of content as on a deal, on a DLC kind of thing. I know which when you when you bought a game back then, you were, you can they were make you know you made a lot of content. They had a lot. Of, you got you pay sixty dollars for the game. The game was worth it. This game you get on the PlayStation st PlayStation Store, Xbox, Wii, Sega Genesis. And I'm pretty sure you can get it on the Game Gear as well. Yep, get on the Game Gear, and you also get it on a bunch of other stuff there. The gameplay is pretty good. The gameplay is fun. It's you know it's addicting. It shooting bad guys, you know, blowing them up with a gun, you know, blowing stuff up. You know, it's a f it's fun. You know, just to play a game like this. There, it's a game for fans of the Gunstar Heroes, in which they you should make a like a sequel. Which you know, I think they did make a sequel, which was on the, like a Game Boy Advance. But I'd like to see a sequel on a on a console, on a disc. If Sega can do it and make a sequel to this game, which would be pretty cool. And this boss, this is a weird boss, but you know, defeated it. And this game is not easy. It's kind of hard. I'm not too, you know, these type of games they kick your ass. And it's look at that fun gaming. Sound audio is pretty good, actually. I like the sound audio. Pretty good stuff. Graphics, pretty good. Nice detail. Nice, well, nice, well, nicely done. The, the, it's nice and colorful, and the environments look pretty good. It's not like, you know, generic freaking brown and gray environments. This is like it got some life into it. Like, you know, it's a fun, it's a fun game. You know, you should pick it up. You know, if you uh, key fact. You can get this game on any, like I said, you can get on any system. If you say, uh, if you're a fan of this game, you like it, it's fun, it's old school, it's challenging. It's a hard game, seriously. It's a fun game, though. And I, the best game, I think the best way to play it probably is co-op. I'm pretty sure this game is a two-player game, which two-player games with same playing with a buddy is always fun. It's not, it's fun playing with a friend instead of a, a, a you know, a little kid online or always cursing you and swearing at you and saying you're this and that and being racist. So, you know what I mean? It's, you have to have, you have to have fun when you're playing your games. You can't be, you know, games are, this game is meant to be challenging. It's freaking, it's fun, man. Yeah. I say it's fun. It's has its has its moments. It has very good stuff. And, and you know what? And I think they what they should do, like I said, make a sequel or they should have put this game in the the Genesis collection. If it was Sega, there they should put it in the Genesis collection. Wouldn't be good to play Gunstar Heroes and a bunch of other games that Sega has on a disc. It'd be good. It would be good on the Genesis collection, but it's it's a digital game, so. Or you can find a physical copy on the Sega Genesis, like I said, in the Game Gear and much other systems. There's me sucking at the game. <laughs> oh, anyway. My rating on this game, I give it a an 8 out of 10. It's very, it's a very fun game. Very good, very good graphics, very good sound audio. Very good gameplay, very good, uh, very good fun, you know. It's all, it's a, if, you know what, if you're a fan of this type of game, 
and you're an old school gamer, you can pick up this game is better. So, it's Killer J if you want some more. And there will be some more retro game reviews. This is going to be an, another retro game review I'm going to do. So I'll do some retro games and some modern games. As it says, RMG Retro Modern Gamers. So, I hope you guys uh, see you guys later and hope you guys have some... Uh, and there's me dying at the end, so... Skill J, see you guys later, and there's going to be some more capture card reviews in the near future. Peace.